There's very few fighters that can match his pace. I think I'm the most well-rounded fighter in the world. He's got a solid chin and gets better every time you see him. I'm confident standing with anybody. UFC 143, February 4th at the Mandalay Bay Event Center. Josh Koscheck takes on Mike Pierce. And in the main event, the interim welterweight championship of the world, Nick Diaz takes on Carlos Condit. To have these guys throw down for the interim title is the absolute perfect matchup. I'm taking that bell home or I'm going to die trying. Carlos Condit, of course, was a former champion in the WEC. He's one of the best welterweights in the world and has made a steady climb up to title contention ever since he emerged from the WEC and started competing with the very best in the world at the UFC. I've been training for this since I was a kid. Being the UFC welterweight champion is my dream. Nick Diaz is coming from a spectacular run in Strike Force, and then his most recent UFC debut, where he absolutely put on a show and dismantled the veteran BJ Penn in one of the finest performances of his career. When Nick Diaz smells blood like this, he smells vicious hooks to the body. I'm confident I'm going to win. to Carlos Condit is an amazing opportunity. It's an opportunity to fight a guy who is considered not just a champion, a champion of strike force, but the number one contender for the championship at the welterweight division. If he can get through Nick Diaz, it shows that he is amongst the very best, if not the very best, at 170 pounds, and it gives him an opportunity to step in there and take on the current undisputed champion in George St. Pierre once George is completely rehabbed from his surgery. I feel like I'm a, a more technical fighter than Diaz. I have more weapons in my arsenal. I just bring some different stuff to the table. Carlos Condit shows no weaknesses. He's got a great chin. His striking has come up and gotten even better than it was when he fought the WEC. His submissions are top-notch. Every time you see him, you see improvement, you see growth, you see him rising to the pressure of being amongst the very best fighters in the world at 170 pounds. Whoa! We have not seen Condit I've had a lot of experience striking in the last 11, 12 years. Kickboxers, pro boxers, world champions, pretty much you name it, I've sparred them, trained with them. In the UFC, Nick Diaz has gone through the lightweight division, moved up to welterweight, and of course had a spectacular run in Strike Force, where he was a Strike Force welterweight champion, and even fought some fights at 185 pounds, dismantling Scott Smith and Frank Shamrock at that weight class. He is one of the very best welterweights on the planet Earth. I'm sure I work harder than everybody. I am just going to go out there and do my best. What a battle! Oh, good and he caught him again. Condit connected all. I don't think that he's weak anywhere. I respect his style of fighting. I guarantee you the Carlos Condit that you see against Nick Diaz for the interim welterweight championship will be a new level of Carlos Condit. He will reach his full potential and rise to the occasion. Trainer is forced to tap out. Carlos Condit has defended the title. He can take a good shot, but if he take knees, he's going to be able to take elbows. You know, it's a different thing when, you know, there's a shin across your face. That's a nice thought, you know, right? Go out there and throw some kicks and some elbows and some knees and win the fight. Can you get that stuff off when you're running backwards? Nick has got such good timing. Diaz's best weapons are, you know, definitely his hands. He throws lots of combinations, mixes it up well, he keeps guys guessing. I can stand and bang with him, but honestly, I want to use my technical abilities to destroy him. Whoever I'm fighting, I'm going to win. Michael Pierce called me out. I don't see how he has the right to call me out. I think he just made a big mistake, that's for sure. Not being cocky, but I just think that I have what it takes to beat him. I'm in this game to fight the best and become the best. I have to get through Josh Koscheck to do it. So be it. He's just the guy standing in the way. They both take into striking very well. 
fight may come down to who can impose their wrestling style and who can get their shots off quicker. Good oh, right right hand. Oh, good right hand. an intriguing fight between two top welterweight contenders. This has been my life story, being the underdog. And there it is. Wow. I've never let that phase me. How does it feel to get an upset like this in your uh, UFC debut? You no, know, it feels pretty good. Good debut. Everyone thought I was going to get smashed. No one thought I was going to win. Here's winning victory over Brock Larson. The number two upset of the year. He's a tireless worker in the gym, and he's got that amateur wrestling mentality and work ethic that he brings into the octagon. Big slam, another slam again. Huge body shot. I paired up with John Fitch for my next fight. Again, everyone thought <laughs> I was going to get smashed. He's the number two guy in the world. I really was getting his number. People were getting excited because they hadn't seen John Fitch put in that position yet. He's a very physically strong guy, and he's a guy that gets stronger as fights go on. Uh, I feel healthier and, and in better shape than I ever have. Right now, I have Josh Koscheck sitting in front of me for UFC 143. The fact that he had the balls to step up and say, you know what, I'm going to fight Josh Koscheck, I'm going to beat his ass. Sure, I'll man up. I'll take that fight all day long when somebody wants to talk trash. And big, big slam. Give me a reason to fight Michael Pierce. And he just did by talking. Those were both big right here. I can say this, Michael Pierce has never been submitted or knocked out in his UFC career. I'm going to be the first guy to do it. And there's the uppercut. Uh oh! He's hurt bad. He got hurt by the right hand of Koscheck. Josh Koscheck was one of the most successful amateur wrestlers to ever compete inside the octagon. I'm talking about a guy who was a four time. All-American, is a spectacular amateur wrestler who's an incredible athlete. The last two guys that I fought were primary wrestlers, you know, Matt Hughes and George St. Pierre. So I've been preparing to fight wrestlers for, for quite a while now, and uh, I feel like it's uh, my advantage. Most people agree that he is the best wrestler that's involved in mixed martial arts. I'm not sure what Michael Pierce's game plan is. Um, you know, I'm sure that he wants to try to stand up. I'm sure he wants to try to wrestle. I've watched his fights, and it doesn't impress me, not at all. It's safe to say that Josh Koscheck has faced a guy who can punch as hard as Pierce. Has Pierce faced a guy who can punch as hard as Koscheck? I don't think he has. Michael Pierce is just a stepping stone to get me back to the title with GSP. He won't be able to last with my power. I wouldn't be in this sport if I didn't think I could win the championship, and that's exactly what I want to do. That's why I'm here. I'm never trying to wiggle out of the fight. I've never have. You know, I'm the type of guy that fights anybody anytime. Anytime the UFC calls, guess what? Who's the first guy to step up? That's me. I can knock cost check out. If I press the action, he's going to make mistakes, and he's going to go to sleep at the end of the night. Now I got a reason that uh, I'm going to kick his ass. Josh Koscheck, ladies and gentlemen! Yeah, I don't think that the fans generally like Josh Koscheck. Yeah, that's right, Montreal! They'd love to see him get his ass kicked. No chance. Two fighters on the title hunt. Am I ready for a title shot or what? I was supposed to fight George St. Pierre. Now, the fight they weren't seeking just became the most important fight of their lives. George St. Pierre's out. Now Condit and Diaz are going to fight for the interim title. Where are you at? The welterweight title is on the line. Carlos Condit, Nick Diaz. It's going to be a dogfight. Live on pay-per-view and in select theaters in 3D.